Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 103 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Last episode, we made some cool stuff. Uh, we've got this fancy little machine here growing watermelons for us. The watermelons are sawmilled directly into melons, uh, so that you get a good amount of them. And then they are piped down, courtesy of some fancy stuff, all the way down here. Um, half of them will go into this block, which will turn them into melon seeds, and the other half uh, will, once I replace a simple side duct, go directly into this guy right here. So half the melons go to getting melon seeded, the other half to the fermenter to get some ethanol, and then the melon seeds are all sent over here to get plant oil. Today's episode will be focused upon turning these two into a fuel source. Uh, and for that, we're going to need to flip through this book of heavy machinery and find ourselves a refinery. The refinery will combine two fluids meant to be combined, specifically plant oil and ethanol, into biodiesel. And then we'll use the biodiesel to generate power. And then we can start getting away from doing this ugly mess of stuff, which is just a temporary solution um, to getting power working over here. Cool? So let's take a look in the engineer's manual and figure out what we need to get uh, in order to do all this stuff. So in order to get a refinery going, we're going to need actually quite a few things. We're going to need some fluid pipes, but that's cool because I just made a bunch. Because aside from being used to make multi-blocks, fluid pipes can also be used to pipe fluid around. Haha, <laughs> makes sense, right? So uh, we're going to need steel scaffolding, eight of them, and a redstone engineering block. So let's get steel scaffolding. Let's get another set which is six at a time, remember? Boom, that looks good. Um, and then we're going to need one redstone, two light, and two heavy engineering blocks. So one redstone, check, two light, and two heavy, sweet. And then apparently the only other thing we need is 16 iron sheet metal. So that is 10. We're going to need more iron plates. That should be cool. Nice. So 16 plate metal. Let's go build this thing and see what it's going to look like. This is where I decided I want this built, right? Because it's a 5 by 3 if I remember. So let's take a look at the first level first. So we're gonna want um, heavy there, I think that's a light, and then pipes all along the middle. So let's get this here, heavy there, that's a light, and then pipes all along the middle. And we'll see once this is built, like how this is gonna look and whether or not it's a problem for us and if we have to rotate it or anything. Cool, so that's step one. Uh, I'm gonna get this here ready and this dude. So the next tier will be another heavy and light, four sets of sheet metal on either side and the redstone engineering block on the far right. So we'll get our four sets of engineering duh, 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 here and here. Our light and heavy again. And then the top is just the sheet metal. And that should be nice. Look at that awesome stuff. All right, check out the UI here. Uh, looks complicated, but definitely isn't. Um, let's get one of those dudes. We're going to want a wireless doohickey here. And we might need like a little antenna of power, but we'll see. So I think that goes here-ish. And again, temporary antenna of derpy looking derpiness. Cool? Cool. All right, so you should be getting RF. Plant oil plus ethanol equals fuel. That's the basic gist. What all these inventory slots are, I guess this is for like if you want to put buckets in, maybe. But let's pipe stuff. Um, so you can see that you've got a blue input there, an orange output there, and a blue input there. Uh, so I assume that's where we're going to want to be piping in the fluids. These guys have orange outputs on the front. So basically what I'd like to do 
is clear out a little path under here. And it should be somewhere around here. Yeah, that looks good. Now, I don't think we want these particularly mixing. So I want to keep the, the fluid lines separate from each other. So we're probably going to want to be a little careful about that. Um, so let's get into here. And then we know the other side is going to be over here. So what I'll probably do is something like this. We'll have one looping up around this side. And that should be becoming apparent where that is soon. So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Cool. So we'll have one of these loop to there and one of these go to here. So let's do this one first, right? I'm going to just run this piping. And again, I am making it a point, somewhat, somewhat of a point, to use mostly immersive engineering stuff for this build. Um, because I think that's cool. So we'll kind of loop this like so. Oh good. <laughs> For a second there my game just like stuttered and I'm like, oh, was that a crash? But if we look inside this dude now, we should see plant oil coming in, which is good. And we should see this guy's plant oil draining, therefore producing more plant oil. Therefore, this thing's running again, producing more melons. And the melons are turning to more plant seeds, and you get the gist. Cool. Um, so for this guy, we're basically going to just run him underground as well. And let's run him down a little bit lower. Literally one pipe too short. <laughs> of course. Of course, I'm literally exactly one pipe too short. Um, hilarious. It's, called, it's all good, though. It's all good. Um, so this guy, boom, should start filling up with ethanol. Yay! Which means that our machine is allowed to run now. And we're getting biodiesel. Um, so at the cost of RF, we're producing biodiesel. So this is all automated still, right? More plant seeds, melon seeds showing up. More melons are showing up here. We'll obviously, you know, drain out our backlog of ethanol and, and plant oil, but that's okay. It'll it'll refill itself. And this stuff takes a not a huge amount of time to be converted into biodiesel. So I think we'll be all right. Nice. All right. So next step, I would like to clean up my inventory and work towards actually putting all this stuff to work, making power for me, and then. Um, I'm going to start storing the power in capacitors and distribute the power throughout this building using the power system that immersive engineering gives us. Cool. Um, and once that's in place, we might actually want to make this a building because it's not yet. It's, 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 I don't even know what it is, but it's not a building. Uh, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. How are you guys doing? How's steel doing? Steel's doing pretty good. Steel's doing pretty good. Let's get a stack of iron and just toss it in here so that you can continue to make steel for me. That is great. What's our steel number at? Eh, 47-ish. Good. That's going well. Uh, you're good, you're good, you're good. So let's get the biodiesel processor going. So that's going to need... Diesel generator? Yeah. High voltage architecture might be fascinating, but it's not very useful unless you have a generator. That's right. So uh, the high, the, the diesel generator can actually produce quite a bit of power, like really a decent amount. Clearly, it's not going to be on the level of draconic tier power because nothing's on the level of draconic tier power because draconic tier power is silly. But, um, you know, I think it's around 4096 RF a tick, which is actually like a pretty good amount of power running off of melons. So, yeah. All right, guys, I've actually never made this thing before that I'm about to make, and I want to give it a shot. And it's not the refinery, or the biodiesel generator. I've made that before. What I want to get is sheet metal times dun, 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 34, because I want to try out the tank. Uh, so let's get 34 sheet metal, which means we're going to need 32 of you. Nice. 
So that looks pretty straightforward to build. I'm just trying to decide where I want the tank to be. So let's lay out where things are gonna live. The, the tank is a, looks like three by three, right? So that's a pretty small footprint. I want like a tank to store the biodiesel as like a buffer. Um, so at least we have some like when we need it kind of thing. Um, so it doesn't all just kind of run on demand and that's cool. So I'm thinking maybe the three by three tank so if this is going to be like here and then the, the generator, I want the tank to be right near the generator. So three by three for a tank. And then the biodiesel generator, I want to say is five by three, right? Yes, five by three. So if, if this is, so over here, I've been one space away from the wall, right? So if this is my wall, my pretend wall then one space away from it. I'll probably want the biodiesel generator like that. Cool. And then, so, uh, but maybe I want that to be the tank. And then the biodiesel generator. Does that sound reasonable, right? So from here, we can just pipe directly over to here fill up the tank. The tank can only insert or extract liquids from the top and can only extract liquids from the bottom. So I'll probably want that to come up on top, hit the tank, and then drain out the bottom into the biodiesel generator. Um, that should work. So that should be cool. So let's do that. I like that idea. So we need four fences, right? Uh, let's go back to the tank. Looks like you're trying to search for nothing, correct. Um, so then it's hollow throughout except the top. Cool. If I had my wand on me, I would use it, but. It'll be quicker to build it by hand than use the wand. And boom, nice. How cool does that look, huh? That is cool. I mean, that is ultra cool. And I can place a block there. I wonder if I can pipe right out of there. And I wonder how awesome it would be if like the, the connector for the diesel generator was right there. That would be great. Uh, so I'm gonna need a lot more of these pipes. Like, let's get a stack's worth. Sweet because you have to get piped into the top, from what I'm told. So, hello. Let's run this this way. And this piping will run all the way across the basement of this room. I'm just poking into the ceiling a little bit so I can see how close I am to the tank. Getting there. All right, so what I'm probably gonna wanna do is come around the back here. So I believe it has to be piped into the top or the bottom. You know, it can be piped into the top or bottom. Because eh. I think I can, type, I can probably pipe it into the bottom of that part, but it has to also be pulled out of the bottom. So if I could pull out the side of the bottom, that would be cool. Yeah, that might work. Let me see what the biodiesel generator looks like. Let's build that, and then we'll decide how we want to run this piping. Cool. Uh, so generators, diesel generator. Let's just get the, the components needed first. Uh, so I need six steel scaffolding, one redstone, 13 heavy. Okay, so one redstone engineering block. Steel scaffolding. You said 13 heavies, right? Missing some steel for that. All right, well, we'll have to come back in a second for that part. Um, four generator blocks and nine radiator blocks. So generator blocks from immersive engineering. I don't think I taught that and that's okay. So I need two sets of these. So let's get, 
I don't think I taught you how to make a coil block, right? Nah, I didn't. So let's get a bunch of copper. The back one. Yes, good. I already had a bunch of copper. Well, we're gonna want that anyway eventually, so. Sweet. So now generator block, we're gonna want two sets of you. And then the generator block itself. I might need the Electrum times four. And while all this is going, don't forget, I'm gonna wind up. Nice, so there's the four generator blocks. Now I need, um, what were they called? Radiator blocks? Yes, radiator times nine. Hopefully they're not too bad. Oh, they're not bad at all. Times nine, cool. Now, how close are we to having? We're only missing 47 steel ingots. Eh. You, sir, have some work to do. Let's, I might want my second improved blast furnace at this point. Just to speed things up. That's gonna require obviously using a bunch of steel. Um, the other option for making steel, by the way, if I don't want to be so impatient. Isn't there a steel crafting recipe from... Furnace alloy smeltery? Just steel grit. The arc furnace makes it pretty quick. That's a thing. That's a thing. We could look at making an arc furnace. How much would an arc furnace be to make? Because I kind of want to make one of those anyway. And they're usually a lot quicker um, at making steel. It's high speed, process multiple items at a time. It's a pretty cool doohickey. Um, how much all this stuff do I Oh, I need a lot of things. I need a lot of things for this. And... Don't I need some kind of blueprint or something? Yeah, arc furnace electrodes. Nice. Cool. I, I have that, so that's good. All right, uh, let's look at making the arc furnace. It might improve our speed of steel production. So the arc furnace is actually a five by five structure. It's one of the larger multi-blocks that we get out of this mod, so. Let's get her going. Um, I'm going to craft some of this off camera. One cauldron, 14 steel sheet metal slabs, and eight steel sheet metal. So luckily I have a little bit of steel ingot sitting over here, because let me tell you how... And this has been running for like a long time. This blast furnace is slow, dude. Let me just get some more iron and throw it in there, just because it'll be nice to have. That thing really takes a while. Um, we need a lot more stuff than we currently have in terms of steel to make this arc furnace. But I think with this refined iron that I just got from Industrial Craft, we're in pretty good shape. Um, so I need five heavy engineering blocks. Cool. That requires 36 steel, by the way, which was kind of a lot. Um, and then, so the last thing we need is three more blocks of steel. Uh, cause I made three already. We're close. We're like super close. Um, the other other thing we need is 27 reinforced blast brick. Which, remember, reinforced blast brick requires steel. But... We do have that here already. So if I dismantle this blast furnace, that would be a way to get steel. And since this thing's only job is to produce steel, 
And we're basically going to be producing steel with the arc furnace. I think I'm going to replace this with an arc furnace, um, which should be fine. How are you guys doing, by the way? Nice. Creosote's still getting stored in the system. How are we for steel? We're actually kind of getting there. Give me five minutes and we'll be back with uh, the ability to do what we need to do. All right, guys, we're good on what we need to do to make an arc furnace. However, uh, one of the components in the arc furnace is an electrode, specifically um, a graphite electrode. Graphite electrodes are made in a metal press with four hop graphite ingots, or they're made in an engineer's workbench with four hop graphite ingots. Um, interesting, one's half and then the other. Well, I guess engineer's workbench is better. Or you know what, this one requires that engineer's blueprint, so... Yeah, we'll probably make an engineer's workbench. I think those are easy enough to make. The problem, not so much of a problem, but kind of a problem. Uh, the only way to get hop graphite is from cooking hop graphite dust in um, any of the furnaces. Hop graphite dust is made by an industrial squeezer compressing coke dust into hop graphite dust, which is cool. Uh, the problem is coke dust can only be made by a crusher. I don't see any other machines up here listing coke to, to coke dust, which is fine. Just means we're going to have to make a crusher. So uh, I like how this is kind of really quickly going down the rabbit hole of we need this machine. We need this machine. We need this machine. How many things do we need? Ten steel scaffolding, uh, eight steel fence, and nine hoppers. We can make that happen. Hoppers. Steel. Hopefully we have enough. Yeah, we're pretty good there. Uh, steel scaffolding, we need 10. We're gonna need a few more things, but by the time I get this built, hopefully we'll have produced more steel that we can use. And then eight steel fence. Steel fence. So we're gonna need a little bit more steel. Let me beg, borrow, and steal. <laughs> no pun intended. Cool. We need eight steel fences, though. Really? I hate you so much. Cool. And then four more steel will get us what we need. So you're cooking along. You're... We've got so many steel manufacturing lines going, and we still don't have enough steel. Which is funny to me. I could beg, borrow, and steal again from the steel block. It won't hurt. Cool. So steel fences. Good to go. Uh, let's build our crusher. So how big is the crusher? Is it a 3x5? I think it is. Yeah, 3x5. Um, so that could go right next to the generator. And this thing is arbitrarily placed, so it could always be moved if we need it to. Um, or we could kind of put it near the front of the building Right, so like this is gonna theoretically be, I'm just mapping out where this building, quote unquote, front is gonna be, right? Um, I'm probably gonna want it to be like a big door, like a three by three door. So it probably would not be a bad idea to get my tape measure real quick and measure out exactly where the center of that is so that I can clear out a three by three area for where the door is going to be. Cool. So that's 31 blocks across, right? So split that down the middle and right around 16, give or take one, 15, give or take one. Yeah. So that's 14 and 14. Cool. So that's kind of your center point. So if I wanted to, I could put this crusher right, say, here. So that's not terrible. I don't love how little access to that I have. 
and I don't want it kind of hogging too much door space. So if this thing was going to be a five by five, one, two, three, four, five, there, um, the crusher could kind of be in line with that one. And let's actually make it Right, so one, two, three, four, yeah, that's close enough, but you get the idea. I like that. Yeah. So that could be my crusher. I don't know that that's particularly aligned to anything, but that'll be my crusher, that'll be my arc furnace. I think that sounds good. So let's get building. Um, so a line of lights and then two lights in the middle and then steel scaffolding all around it. So let's put that and that ready to roll. And it's three lights, right? So. How much steel scaffolding do I need? 10? I need four more steel scaffolding. Even though it makes six at a time, but you get the gist. Cool. Next tier uh, requires, so lights there, a light in the center, a light on the far right, steel around it, redstone, okay. So light in the center, light on the right, the redstone here, and then the fences like this. Does that look right? I think so. Yeah. And then hoppers on the top here. And hopefully while making all this, we've made enough steel to replace those iron blocks that I used. That's at least the hope. All right. Yay, we got a crusher. Nice. That is cool. Um, let's get our... Wireless doohickeys. That should be giving you power. Now the crusher doesn't have a UI. Keep that in mind. And anything dropped into it that doesn't belong in it is gonna maybe get eaten and killed. I don't know, we'll see. But long story short, I should, I think this is your output. So if I throw a chest there, we'll be good. If I'm not mistaken. And let's grab, you know, some coal coke. I know we're gonna need a bunch of it. Throw 12 in there. Nice. Coke dust. Beautiful. I like it. So I knew I was going to need the coke dust for the arc furnace anyway. Now let's see what I'm missing from the arc furnace that I used over here. And we'll have to build that. So back to the arc furnace. I'm gonna need six blocks of steel. I need a redstone engineering and more light engineering. I need 10. So let's get another redstone engineering. And then I need 10 light engineerings. I think I used all that I had. So we're good there. And then six blocks of steel. Nice. Six blocks of steel. And then the only other thing we need for this arc furnace is the 27 reinforced blast brick, which I'll get right here. Cool. So we're pretty much out of a lot of things, but that's okay. I think we're like right on the border of what we need to have. So let's clean up the inventory a little bit because boy, is it a mess. Uh, yes. Anything else I can get rid of at this point? I don't think I need steel fences anymore. I don't need my tape measure or these buckets. That'll be good enough. So this is going to be one of the larger structures we're going to build. But once we have this in place, it's a really nice furnace in general. And it's going to make steel production even faster. Cool. 
Okay, so let's put away you. Uh, Call Coke, yeah, I could probably put you away for now. That's fine. And these things can go away for the time being. Let's get this thing built, shall we? So since I'm replacing this, why don't I put this guy right here? We can just build it as a five by five. Right here. Or I could just build it flush with the wall. That should be fine. I can build it flush with the wall. I don't need it to be one space out. And that way, it's kind of flush with the front of the Coke ovens. I like that idea, and that's what we're doing now. And maybe I'll move that crusher if I need to, so that it's now further back. Because I could probably do that too. But we'll get to that. So pause you. So the first tier, steel scaffolding, steel... Um, you, 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 and you. So we want steel scaffolding here. We want the cauldron here. And then was that? Yeah. And I'm guessing those are steel blocks. So that's kind of what I want it to look like. Let's clear this out for the time being. And we're going to have the steel blocks. I'm assuming these are steel blocks. And then on the outer edge, it looks like these things. And that looks like some kind of heavy engineering block, so I might have to replace that. No big deal. That might be the heavy engineering block. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Cool. Next here has redstone on the back, another steel block here, heavy, heavy, three lights, heavy, heavy, steel. Okay. Heavy, heavy, three lights, heavy, heavy. And then six of those things in the middle there, and the redstone goes in the back. Let's put... Cool. Um, then the next tier, I think that's pretty good for that tier, is going to have those all extended out. Steels are stacked, three lights, and those things. So the steel blocks continue to be stacked. Those things, and then the lights. And this is like overhung a little bit, like that. That looks about right. And then two steel scaffoldings, a light, and then these guys again. Two steel scaffoldings and a light. And on the top, we've got three lights, two steel scaffoldings. Am I missing something there? Because I have like six more reinforced blast bricks, but maybe that's good. Okay, uh, let's try and hit it with a wrench and see what happens. Hopefully I have this together correctly. Which one of these blocks do I hit to make this thing form? Click the cauldron with the engineer's hammer. So I totally missed something. Let me review this and I will tell you what I missed when I figure it out. I think I figured it out. I think what I'm missing is this needs to come out one more and this needs to come out one more. All right, so that definitely did need to be happening, but so that's two and then that's two, four out, right? So that's four by three, three by three. I think we need a little light here. Hey, whoa, hello, we did it. Nice, look at that, awesome looking arc furnace. I really wanna rotate that. 
I really want it rotated. I want it to face out. I'm going to rotate this, and I don't think I can just do that, unfortunately. So we'll be back in a minute. Uh, I'm going to rotate that off camera. Hooray! That looks better, right? Cool. All right, so now uh, I've got my coke dust. I can go smelt this. And we can get electrodes. So I do want to kind of see this running before the end of the episode. And at the same time, I know that like we're really close to wrapping up point. You need to be industrial squeezed into your hop graphite dust. Yeah, eight. So I need eight more of these ground up cold coke. Yeah, so I know we're close to wrapping up point. Well, we're past wrapping up point, pretty past it. But I want to give, uh, I want you guys to see the arc furnace in action before we wrap up. So let's real quick try to make that happen. Uh, you guys go into here. I don't know if I have to specify another industrial squeezer. Like, can I just throw these in here and you'll run? What are the chances that that's going to just work? It does seem to be operating, which is good news. I'm hoping the fact that it's full of plant oil doesn't matter. And that I can just, you know, do your thing. But I don't know. We'll be back in a minute when it's done, maybe. All right, so confirming that you totally need to have enough. Like, this internal thing can't be super full. Um, confirmed. Placing that drum there to drain the buffer of plant oil totally worked. So that's cool. So we've got our hop, hop graphite dust. I'm going to move this off camera, but at least I've got that. Let's alloy smelter this. Let's take a look at getting a workbench. Yay. Arc electrodes. Uh, immersive. You engineer's blueprint. You done. I'll put this out over here somewhere. Hey, that'll work. So this here and this here gives me one. Haha, -ha, we're gonna do quite a bit more. All right, that's good to know. Um, so it's thirty-two coal coke. Which wow, that's a lot of coal coke per one graphite electrode. And I think this just goes in the top here. Now, can you smelt as you are, or do you need all three graphite electrodes? Like, I'm not sure if it's faster with three or if it requires all three. Um, yeah. Energy is input through the three connectors at the back and supplying the control panel at the front of the red. So soon we'll turn off the machine. Cool. All right, so I'm going to get more coke dust and iron, and we're going to see if this works. Iron and coke dust. So he has RF, but he doesn't seem to be running. I think I do need all three electrodes. I believe that is the case. So let's come back next episode. I wanted to see this working, but uh, yeah, we'll come back next episode and we will see how it looks. Uh, once we've gotten a little bit more coke dust. Basically, I just need to wait for these guys to process more coke dust. Creeper. What's up, sneaky creeper? Yeah, Enderman, what are you doing here? Beat it, you. Get out of here. Yeah. Bad Enderman sneaking up on me. All right. I suspect he has something to do with that creeper as well. So, yeah, we'll come back next episode. We will. Um... Have more fun playing with the arc furnace. We'll get a diesel generator up and running, and then we'll kind of tie everything together. And I do want to build the nice looking immersive engineering building on camera, so that'll be an episode coming up as well. For now, Daryl 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.